Hi, I'm Pete, and this is a Puzzle Master unboxing. That's right, I took advantage of the Boxing Day sale that Puzzle Master had at the beginning of the new year, and uh, they had a fairly substantial discount. It was an email uh, to, I don't know if it was all customers or Canadian customers, but anyway, they uh, had a pretty good discount on everything in the store everything that was at least in stock so uh, now as I'm unpacking this oh packing peanuts here we go uh, as I'm unpacking this I'll just uh, mention that Boxing Day is a Canadian holiday it's a shopping holiday I think other Commonwealth uh, countries have it too basically it's sort of like Black Friday or something like that in the States um, all right uh, I'm gonna have to get these uh, packing peanuts out of the way here just a second. I, I keep forgetting that Puzzle Master has pack, packing peanuts. Okay. Very, very well packed. Alright. So, uh, yeah, this didn't take very long at all to get to me. Just about a week. I think I ordered it uh, on uh, Boxing Guide. Just the day after Christmas, 26th. Okay, so here we go. And, oh, let's see. Okay, this one. Oh, we got one in a bag. That's interesting. And then a wooden, couple of wooden puzzles. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Well, that was a little shrink wrap there. And a fairly big one. I was wondering how big this would be. Oh, okay, that is fairly, fairly big. Okay, and uh, some, oops, some bubble wrap, and nothing else in there, just packing peanuts. Okay. All right. Now, that was quite the haul. Um, and uh, interestingly, it would have been even a little bigger, except one of the puzzles I wanted was... Uh, was uh, sold out, so we'll be looking for that. Okay, so here's what I got then. Um, you know, the, this was an opportunity to just get puzzles that uh, I'm not, uh, maybe I hadn't tried before, or uh, you know, branch out a little bit. Uh, uh, just some, some different things. So, the first one, uh, this is uh, a Constantine puzzle. Uh, is the uh, puzzle designer who uh, designed the uh, Lab binary <laughs> and quite a few other uh, quite a few other nice uh, sliding type puzzles and uh, so this one is called N522 uh, not not real fancy packaging but that's okay N522 NPM so that's Puzzle Master so it, that must be a product uh, number uh, so this one so I think the object of this is very similar to the uh, lab, lab binary. And some of his other sliding puzzles. Let me just open this up here. And you're supposed to, I guess, get the ball through the maze. There's a little ball in there. Whoop. Yeah, and I, you know, I enjoy this sort of thing. It's uh, just a little bit different from twisty puzzles. Okay, so so there's the hole for. And I don't know if you can see it. But there's a little ball in there. Let's see if I can, if I can get something to move. Okay, yeah, so you may be able to see there's there's a ball right in that hole. Yeah, and so somehow I'm supposed to get this. Now, this, as I understand, the maze, I think it grows, goes up the side from what I read or something like that. I'm not real sure. Okay, there's a little bit of uh, adhesive residue right there. That won't, uh, that'll be very easy to get off. I'll, I'll try different, I'll try a lint-free cloth, microfiber cloth first and then maybe something stronger. Okay, so basically you've got levers that go up and down, you got levers that go sideways, and I guess if you get everything lined up, okay, well that one's not gonna go. Okay, well I guess <laughs> I guess that's the whole game here. You're supposed to um, get the puzzle, uh, move the sliders somehow, figure out how they move, and sort of somehow maneuver this ball through the maze. I'll have to figure out what it all is. So but again, I really enjoyed the uh, the other one of his series, and uh, uh, so I decided to uh, to try this one for uh, the new year. Okay, so that was the N522 from Constantine. 
And uh, I guess I'll skip right to um, this big one here. Um, so this is another Constantine puzzle. And it is, okay, I well, have it right here. It is uh, the 9x9. Nine nine. I think that's the name of it. And so basically it's a, it's a bunch of packing puzzles, little tiny packing puzzles. You pack them all in there. And uh, it, uh, you know, it, it gives it to you as a challenge. I suppose if you kept the pieces separate, then it would be nine separate challenges. Or if you just dumped all the pieces into one, <laughs> one pile, then it would be a bigger challenge. So, um, oh, okay. And they've, they, oh, this is kind of nice. It's just a lighter kind of uh, frame on the back. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm really enjoying packing puzzles, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I have many strategies, uh, but I've had a couple of packing puzzles recently, and so it's just something to, something to, a little different from twisty puzzles. Okay, so that was the nine by nine. Um, I got another um, billion barrel, uh, yo lo, <laughs> yo lo coloco, um, and it was just. Uh, you know, I took advantage of having the discount and decided to pick up another one of these. Um, so the, the price on this was, was really quite reasonable. Uh, less than, with the discount, the cost of a Big Mac meal at McDonald's. So you can you can work it out how much it would cost. So there you go. Whoops. And uh, I, I've already shown uh, my last unboxing from Puzzle Master this. So um, the, the really there's nothing new here. I'm just going to show you my... Uh, new copy, uh, another copy of Yo Loco Loco Barrel Puzzle and the instructions in uh, Spanish, which I still have to get uh, translated somehow. Okay, that one. And um, this next one is, uh, what's, it, what's it called? A Soma uh, Werfel? Hmm, Soma Werfel. Uh, Philos? Phylos, hmm, don't know. And it has different languages on here. So, uh, okay, I think we're looking for the one that has um, probably this uh, Great Britain. Uh, the block puzzle consists of seven diff different wooden elements in addition to the... So, yeah, in addition... Okay... I'll give it an example. There are also 240 known different possibilities of assembling cubes with seven pieces. A cube with seven pieces. Okay. So this is the Soma cube. And this is a wooden version of the Soma cube. Now, there, this was relatively inexpensive. And with the discount, it was it was really quite quite the bargain. Um, I'm sort of have an interest in uh, packing puzzles now. And when I was looking through the different offerings on Puzzle Master... I basically had a flashback to my childhood. I don't know how old I was when I got my first Soma cube back in way, way back in the hippie days. But um, I remember it fondly. I really vividly remember the Soma cube. And uh, so I decided I just, you know, if I'm going to have a packing puzzle, why not have one of these? Um, it'll be great when I bring it to my um, puzzle uh, club at school and um, you know I'm looking forward to kind of revisiting an old an old standby I was really young when I got this and this really sparked my interest in in puzzles so it's uh, now the warnings are in okay German oh German English and French I thought I was gonna have to read the, the German one it says warning not suitable for children under three years due to small parts danger of suffocation okay so I guess the idea is that they could swallow one of these pieces so it shows you different figures that uh, you can make with it. Um, and you can go online. The Soma Cube has been around a very long time. It's showing you the difficulty rating. Um, and it's showing two light bulbs out of four. Uh, I don't know what that means. Two light bulbs out of four, it's 50% difficulty rating. Okay. And then it's showing uh, one person. 6 to 99, maybe that's the age. Okay, so uh, hopefully hopefully I'll, I'll uh, exceed the age limit on this one. And then 10 minutes to infinity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
and uh, I guess maybe I will be solving this for a long time. It says, please save the packaging. Uh, and then it is. So this is actually comes from Germany. That's kind of interesting design, I guess. Uh, the company is German. It gives you their website. And then, of course, the, the actual product is made in. So there are various uh, versions of the Soma Cube. And uh, so the one that I decided to get was just a wee bit more expensive. was the wooden, colorful wooden version. So uh, well, that's, that's some pretty nice uh, packaging. Um, oh, okay. So these are the instructions. And uh, let's have a look. Glossy instructions. So, yeah, they're going to show you. I think they're going to show the, uh, well, it's a bit of a spoiler. Yeah, they kind of show you how to build it there. I don't really want to want to spoil it um, and then it it's okay so this is really just a repeat of what they have on the outside um, and then they show you and this is what I kind of like um, and I remember this in the original Soma Cube so um, these are all the different things you can make I remember that making all of these uh, the, uh, the, the this thing here was very challenging I remember that um, so these are, besides the cube, you can make all these different figures. And I think this is what gives us a real high replay value. And one of the reasons why I wanted to get it. Um, just just for that reason. Okay, so, oh boy, some more. This thing was really super well wrapped here. Get the knife back out. Now I don't want to... I want to be careful, I don't... Hurt the puzzle. Okay, and of course it makes sense. It has to be carefully packaged up because once once you get the wrapper off, it will just be loose pieces. Okay. Whoa. Okay, and then uh, the desk can I just throw that away. So there you go, Soma Cube, seven pieces, um, five. Is it four? One, two, three, four. Yeah. So, basically, uh, four uh, unit unit cubes in each piece, and there you go. So colorful, um, and you can assemble them in the different configurations, and uh, so just just basic wooden blocks. You can get a plastic version. I kind of like the uh, the heavy duty uh, nature of the wood, kind of. Seems like it might be a little more satisfying to play. And anyway, so you're supposed to put it all together and you're supposed to make a cube out of it. Uh, I've managed to not make a cube out of it, so I'll have fun playing with that though. So much. All right, well, um, we're almost uh, through my uh, Boxing Day unboxing. The next thing is. Uh, well, actually, it says right on the outside of it what it is. Pioneer Pyramid Exchange Gift IPP32. There you go. So, uh, this was designed by a fairly uh, famous uh, puzzler, uh, Roxanne Wong. And it's based on the Pioneer uh, Cube. And so, it's a moving bead puzzle. So, it's just kind of a cool thing. When I saw this, um, I decided I really you know, wanted to give this a go because, uh, of course, I have already a, an, another moving bead puzzle, and uh, why not uh, give another um, moving bead puzzle a try? I have no idea how it actually works. Um, there's this. There's a lock on here which is supposed to prevent the beads from moving. That's what I I heard. Oh yeah, okay, so it says rocks on there, so, uh, and what else, is there anything else? Uh, MF8, okay, so, whoop, there you go, MF8, and is there anything else on there? No, that's just about it, nothing on the bottom, so, yeah, so there is some sort of lock, and uh, it was supposed to keep the beads from moving, but it doesn't seem to be doing that, so I'm not, oh wait, it is, I'm not really sure how it's, Okay, what do you do here? I'm, I'm a little... Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, okay. No, they, <laughs> it was locked. Okay, I'm not really sure. So the beads can rattle around. Whoops. The beads can rattle around. Um, when you turn this, there's, there's some sort of plunger that pops up and stops. And right now it's stopped. So even though the beads are rattling around, they're not actually going anywhere. But if I open it, now the beads are free to move. Oh, I see. Oh, that's, that's a very clever way of getting around. Because, you know, what if you're playing with it on, you know, your playing with it and then um, you, you have to go you're waiting for a plane or something like that so this is really neat I think it's scrambled it yeah it's arrived scrambled so <laughs> it's it's really scrambled right there um, I suppose there's a couple screws in there so I suppose I guess theoretically I could open it up and reset it or just try to solve it that way so I don't know how hard this is but it's really again this is a, a very accessible type of puzzle Unlike a twisty puzzle or something, you look at this and you can pretty well quickly see what what it is, and you can sort of see what's going on. Um, and I I don't know what the strategies will be. I guess I don't even know if you can do a three cycle. Yeah, you could probably do a three cycle with these little beads. And it's very very cute, very clever, and a very inexpensive puzzle. I, I can't quite remember how much it was, but really quite a bargain. So that's at Puzzle Master, and it came with a very nice. Uh, custom uh, bag here so it's really cool uh, I have no idea why Puzzle Master is selling um, that sort of little rare puzzle but yeah, I I went for it okay well that's my Puzzle Master unboxing the big Boxing Day sale I got my N522 a sliding uh, lever puzzle um, and uh, so I'm going to have fun uh, playing with that one. I got my uh, Constantin uh, 9x9, which is just a bunch of uh, packing puzzles. As soon as I, uh, the video is over, I will uh, unwrap it. I don't want to risk unwrapping it right now and having everything fall out. I have my Soma Cube, which is a little has revisited history from my youth, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. Uh, I have my uh, Billion Barrel, or uh, Yolo Coloco. Um, and so I'm going to have fun with that one. And I have my uh, Pioneer Pyramid uh, moving bead puzzle. So a lot of fun. Uh, no twisties in the bunch, but, uh, but absolutely don't worry. There's lots more twisties on the way. I already have another batch of twisties heading uh, to me from uh, uh, China. So um, there will certainly be some more uh, twisties uh, unboxing in the future. All right, well, as always, I appreciate any comments or questions or suggestions you have, so leave me some feedback in the comments. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.